Hi, we're in Downey, California, shooting the second video off the Black Parade. The director is Sam Bayer, and there's fire everywhere, and this is gonna F and rip. That's great. Can you guys get a play in there? Yeah. Do it! Hi, I'm Frank. You may know me from My Chemical Romance. I play guitar. We are about to blow up uh, a set right now for our new video set. Oh, wait, we don't know the name yet, so whatever. Uh, <laughs> for our new video. Um, basically, I don't know if you guys have seen The Black Parade. Uh, we did that with uh, Sam Bayer, who is an amazing artist and director. Uh, yells at us a lot and, and gets great performances out of us. We decided to take everything that we did for Black Parade and burn it to the ground, basically. So um, that is our, our concept for insert name here. <laughs> we are starting yet another video. Um, brought some stuff back from a previous video, which is the Black Parade. And there's the float out there, and there's fire everywhere. And it basically was earlier, it was this big empty, just pretty much an empty parking lot, pretty much. And now we were kind of gone for a little bit. We came in, and all this is going on. So it's pretty, I was pretty shocked when I walked in. I'm excited because there's going to be explosions and fire. And they told me that they were going to have to cover my back in uh, some sort of jelly so I didn't catch on fire. My name is Jeremy Hayes. I'm with the effects group. And I'm doing the pyrotechnics on My Chemical Romance. That there's going to be fire effects all around the float and in front of it. And we have fireballs going off behind the float while the band's performing on it. And then eventually we'll take the uh, band off the float and, uh, and burn the float to the ground. Uh, mostly the concerns for tonight's activities is actually just the wind and uh, you know obviously keeping the band safe from the, the heat that comes off the, the fire but uh, for the most part we got a good crew here and we're going to surround the set with, uh, with water and CO2 extinguishers so we should be pretty good. Alright guys just so everyone knows what's going on obviously we're going to have the band set up in front of this debris and rubble. Our uh, pyro technicians have set up some uh, propane mortars in the back and they've treated the wood. There's going to be fire that's happening during this. In a few minutes, we're going to start testing levels, setting fire levels and uh, exposures. Myself and my guys have control of the flame levels on the float and the stuff in the background. So we can raise and lower those levels accordingly when we feel that we need to, whether for safety reasons or when there's cut. But there is some debris in here that we've uh, begun fireproofing most of that stuff. The concept is we're going to light everything on fire that we just performed on. And um, a lot of the pieces from the set will also be lit on fire. It's our first ever sort of straight performance video. Um, we've never actually just had a performance video, so we're actually really excited because Sam's the best at that. So if you're gonna have just a performance, you want that guy doing it. I will try to get this video done in about two hours. Okay. To be a world record. The great. We can get through this beginning, and I feel like I'm covering everybody. We're gonna start really burning the float. Okay. For that last, like I'm stopping at three and a half minutes in. So I think, what's the song, five? So the last minute and a half, we'll cover later tonight where we can really burn this float that feels consistent. Hey guys, it's Sam talking. Listen, everybody just quiet down a bit. Be safe. I don't want anyone to get hurt. I think what we're doing this next one, three cameras, let's burn the float.
my name is Chuck Seeley. I work for the City of Downey Fire Department. We're the agency having jurisdiction here at the Downey Studios. Now this particular music video is going to have some special effects, specifically some pyrotechnics that's going to involve uh, some uh, propane flame, and some candles, and uh, actually, actually going to have some flaming uh, pots of flammable liquid that are, that are going to fly up in the air. Uh, it's kind of a finale out here in the field. The thing that um, the, the guys and nobody really knows about me is I had a real problem with fire when I was a kid. Um, I wasn't afraid of it, but I lit a lot of things on fire and I got in a lot of trouble. Um, I have an aver like a, just this thing to it. I stare at it for hours, so um, I was right away into the idea. Everybody, like, they, they got goosebumps in the meeting. You're talking to this guy, we talk about the Black Parade video, and then he says, yeah, then we're going to light it all on fire. Everybody just got goosebumps, so that's when we knew it was the right idea. We're shooting two videos at once. The first song is called Welcome to the Black Parade. It encompasses the theme of the entire record. Um, it's very much the concept of the record um, captured into, in, a in a nutshell in one video. The second song, which is kind of, uh, it's kind of unnamed right now, um, it was written at, I would say, the darkest period in this band's career, which was... Um, staying at, in a haunted mansion. <laughs> staying in a haunted mansion, people losing their minds, people um, having really giant personal problems, mental issues, uh, in the middle of making this album, writing this album. It was the bleakest time, it was the darkest days. So this song comes from a very pure, pure place. Um, and uh, it's undeniably powerful because of that, I feel. So guys, let's peel on back, please. If you're an observer of all this, you can go to the monitors over there. Those are gonna be up shortly. If you're not, just go back behind these chairs over here just for safety, please. No, I know that I can't make you stay. But where's your heart? But where's your heart? But where's your... And I know there's nothing I can say To change that part To change that part To change You know, we wrote the song, um, uh, it was a really hard time in, in writing the record, and um, it, it was definitely a, a song that, that came together um, surprisingly fast and, and came together really well for us, and I think it, it all shot, like, we all got this shot of inspiration uh, when that song came together, and uh, it, uh, it gave us a new life, new hope, um, and, and it really put us back in the mindset of, of making a great record. They play me the record, I go, I gotta do this other song. So I put myself out there and said, I can do two videos in two days. And I did it with Green Day last year with Holiday and Boulevard of Broken Dreams. And, you know, it just puts, you know, I need two or three days to do a video. So I'm doing two videos in two days. So, um, you know, I just gotta, I'm gonna attack it like a war. Yeah. 
How that look? Fine over here. Hands out. One camera. Slow mo still. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> no no no. No, nah, I'm good. There's a pop. Yeah. Temperature's good, your pulses are good. You want to go ahead and drop a sock and take a look at it real quick? It just popped so loud. I got you, Scott. DMT had me um, put the boot on before it started to swell. Because I wouldn't be able to get the boot back on. So. We'll ice it later, I guess. I don't feel it till tomorrow, probably. You got tackled? You said? I think so. And I then, think. Uh, Who tackled you? When we get to, uh, I think it was Frank. Used to tackle me a lot actually back in the day. It was like old times. Okay. This is a lot like old times, with, you know, except the pyro. And, uh, <laughs> it's a lot like old times. Oh! Look at this one. Over here, I'm going to go straight down the middle. That's the one over there. Oh, man. That's it. It's been a while since we played, and uh, my hands weren't used to it. Once you get into like the, once you get into the routine, the routine, the, re, the routine of playing every day, you kind of build up callus and stuff like that. But it's been a long time since we played, so uh, they kind of went away. And then all of a sudden, it was like 12 hours straight of playing all day, and that kind of shocked them a little bit. I'm really dirty. Um, <laughs> I've been breathing in ashes and dirt all day long. Pretty rad. It's like being in Jersey again. One of my, like, my best memories too of the recording was when like the song really didn't have a chorus and like we all left and <laughs> we come back like I don't know like an hour later from this from being out or I think we went to coffee. Dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we went yeah. to get coffee or something. We come back and and Gerard had done this like just awesome layered chorus that was just like so inspiring like the words that he's singing and, and, and just the melody, it just came out of nowhere really. And it just tied this whole song together. I think it ties the whole record together. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully it, it, it makes people want to get out, you know, of their car and just go live life to the fullest. This song, I guess more than any other song, just uh, reminds us of why we get up every day and um, reminds us that, that how great our lives are. And, and how much uh, music means to us, and, and how much this band means to us, and how much each other means to us. So that's what this song means to me. I don't want to do this stuff, you know, unless I dig the band. I dig these guys, you know, it's like, they're cool. I mean, it's like, kids are gonna love this record. It's like, uh, I felt this, you know, they're doing something really different. One more take. It's weird. Like we all like hit the end of it, and we're just like in a shot. But we've done it a lot of times. Take number is this, Sam? Huh? What take number is this coming up? I mean, you know, come non-stop for two and a half hours. I think we're there. Now we play the music real low, and I'm talking about where I want the. Uh, I want you to hear it. Okay, Margaret, play the music low. Um, excited, guys. Yeah. yeah. I think we should start a minute into the song. Okay. And let's give him a cue. 3.15 and let's burn the flow. Thank you. 
a medic on Bob. Check Bob. Bob. Step on over there, Bob. shooting for our second video. Uh, we lit stuff on fire, we broke guitars, we broke our fingers. Hmm. Uh, and Bob's leg. And Bob's leg, he burned himself. So I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. That's a wrap. No, I know that I can't make you stay, but where's your heart? But where's your heart? But where's your I know there's nothing I can say to change that part to change that part to change Afraid, asleep, or dead.